Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great time. Welcome to Student Gateway. So today we are here with another exciting opportunity and this time this opportunity is again from Singapore and Singapore is one of the leading economy in today's world. So before starting this video, if you're new to our channel, kindly consider subscribing to our channel. Do help the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any of the upcoming updates. So without any delay, let's just talk about today's opportunity. It is NTU scholarship in Singapore. NTU stands for Nanyang University NTU scholarship and it is in Singapore Nanyang Technical University. And if you talk about the details about this scholarship, this scholarship is for bachelor's, master's, PhD and this scholarship is, as you can see, fully funded. You're not supposed to pay anything. So it's a fully funded opportunity if you want to travel, if you want to uh, like complete your studies abroad, so things like that. So, but uh, keeping everything aside, you have to follow a certain criteria. So if you talk about the details, world university ranking, Singapore University is ranked 11th in the world and third in Asia. All academic fields and majors are available at this university. So basically it's a top ranked university, I would say. As studies above, the university holds the obliged to cover all the expense of the candidates is fully funded time period is two years four years and four years for ps as well so if you talk about the details about this scholarship singapore nangian technical university bachelor's master's phd fully funded if you talk about the deadlines about this scholarship it is 31st of uh, december for graduates 19th of march for uh, bachelor's uh, these are the benefits some of the benefits i would recommend you to read them all monthly stipends uh, conference allowance, IT allowance, journal subscriptions and things like that. If you talk about the research, uh, obviously for research uh, for Singapore citizens, uh, this is the amount. For international students, this is the amount. For masters, this is the amount. And for PhD, this is the amount. If you talk about, basically there, there are a different kind of scholarships. All we are interested in in Singa scholarship. The last date for Singa scholarship is 31st of January. Tuition fees, uh, 2,000 monthly allowance, 2,500 after passing the qualifying examination. One time airfare ticket, one time settling allowance. If you talk about the undergraduate scholarships, we can find out the details about this undergraduate scholarship. This is the different scholarship. This is the different scholarship. Basically, um, uh, for undergraduate, they have different scholarship uh, program and uh, for masters, they have different scholarship program, but they do all the same. I don't know why they have categorized them. So these are the details, 2,000, 5,000, 1,750 and things like that. So I would recommend you to read them all. I'll leave this link in the description below. And this is another scholarship for undergraduate. This is another scholarship for undergraduate. Choose the one which is best for you. We would recommend you to go for Singa. Singa is for uh, masters and these are the scholarship for bachelors. And if you talk about the fields of studies available, these are the list of programs right here, as you can see. And these are the list of programs in undergraduate. If you talk about the eligibility criteria, open to all national and international students, successful awardees should read a full time undergraduate course of study. The scholarship will cover study years at NTU, excellent uh, records, uh, strong leadership qualities and must hold a bachelor's degree. Basically, they are talking about like, for example, you want to apply for bachelor's, you should have a 12th grade uh, standards uh, education completed. If you're applying for master's, you should complete bachelor's studies. If you're applying for a PhD, you should complete your master's degree. So they're basically trying to say that. Deadline is we have already described. So let's just go now and how we are supposed to apply. Basically the application uh, procedure is same both for master's and PhD. So we'll just go with the um, master's. Right now this is the undergraduate admission. This is a Nanyang scholarship. This is the eligibility, benefits, terms and conditions, application process. If you want to apply for the application, you are supposed to click on this link right here and go down this and that. Okay, one thing I would like you guys to know and understand is once you apply to a particular program, um, after that program, then you have to come up and apply for the scholarship. As you can see, log in here to access the application form. So we would log in here as well and some of the essay questions and things like that. So I would recommend you to read this all. Keeping video shorter and shorter, let's go next and see what do we have. 
undergraduate admission we are applying to this and that click here for this application group okay so basically they are trying to say like uh, this is an uh, application groups they have divided they have further divided bachelor's admissions into different categories like how not only bachelor's admissions but for uh, diplomas and things like that as well as you can see click here for diploma awarded by this and that click here for international and other qualifications so this is the links for and the details about the scenario we are going through right now so let's talk about now NTU scholarship application number and date of birth so when you click on this we have not created a, an application yet uh, so that's why we cannot uh, enter an application number when you enter your details after submitting the form you'll get an application form for the scholarship you want to apply for so we'll we'll check this later and uh, these are the different scholarships right here as you can see admi administered by NTU office of admission administered by external organizations so they are also offering external scholarships you guys can check out further details about each and every scholarship if you want to which I would recommend you to do now we are basically interested in how we are supposed to apply let's just uh, kind of click on this link right here again so that our uh, admission entered by so we are basically interested in uh, presidential graduate now we are interested in this scholarship right here so when we click on this link this page will come up right here in front of you we are interested in application procedure so uh, one thing I would like you to keep in mind is GRE, IELTS, TOEFL and these kind of tests are optional however do note that you may be requested by the university to submit satisfactory scores as part of the university admission requirement so you have to keep that in mind so how we are basically supposed to apply you just need to kind of click on this link this page will come up in front of you I have already created an account right here you can easily create an account so like by entering your details invalid credentials so let's just uh, come up with this and let's go now so as you can see right now the application process is right here in front of you so when you click on these links apply to scholarship or apply to my application right here so we are interested in apply to my application and when we click on my application this page will come up right here in front of you and you are supposed to read this I would recommend you to read these uh, pages right here so when you click on that link this page will come up here right in front of you important notes terms and condition relevant documents so I would recommend you to read them all and for you can easily go for fakes if you would like to and if not let's just start our application procedure I cannot go next but if you talk about the personal info and uh, things like that as you can see right here you should enter your credentials education details and languages career research essay I would recommend you to work really hard on your essays and uh, ans answering those questions motivational letters statement of purpose whatever they require so by by that time I would uh, I think you have a lot of time for the deadline if you can see the deadline right here um, it is 31st of December and 19th of March so you have a lot of time so I would recommend you to work really hard on that and if you talk about the bachelor's application procedure bachelor application procedure is the same uh, for research uh, scholarship graduate scholarship and these are the scholarships by um, external organizations but for talking about the international applicants these are the scholarships we are interested in so if there are still any questions or doubts or difficulties uh, you guys can contact us in the comment sections below thank you so much for watching and best of luck